childhood. I just got the impression he was born in, in, uh, in London, Canton. He always referred to his Persian roots when asked, where did he come from? I'll always walk around like a Persian pocket day. <laughs> and no one's going to stop me, honey. The man that would eventually become Freddie Mercury was born Farouk Balsara on the 5th of September 1946 in Zanzibar, then a British protectorate of the coast of East Africa. His parents, Bomi and Jair Balsara, were originally from Bombay, now Mumbai, in India, but had emigrated to Zanzibar before Farouk was born. Both were devoutly religious. Growing up in a religious home can be a positive experience. It often emphasizes value such as self-control and social competence, but it can also have many other consequences. The Balsara's life was dominated by their belief in an ancient but little-known religion called Zoroastrianism. Zoroastrians are one of the oldest monotheistic religions in the world, so dating back centuries. Had originated in Persia, which is modern-day Iran. This is a religion that influenced Christianity, Judaism, uh, Buddhism. The Muslims conquered Persia and the Zoroastrian Parsis were run out of their lands and they migrated to India. Devout religious beliefs within a family can be very powerful. Parents may delegate judgment of their children's behavior to God or the devil. This sometimes creates a more formal, conservative upbringing that lacks closeness. Freddie's school friend, Gita Choksi, was similarly brought up as a Zoroastrian. We are taught our prayers from a very young age. We were following the tenets and teachings of the prophet Zarathustra. And basically, his three tenets, if I've got it right, are good thoughts, good words, good deeds, the idea of being good in life for the sake of goodness itself, without expectation of reward, for example. Zoroastrianism also denounces homosexuality. Being gay is not approved by Zoroastrian religion. And frankly, for us, we were clueless. We didn't know what gay or homosexuality or any of that meant. It's unlikely Farouk would have understood his sexuality at this time, but he would have known that his family's religion considered being gay as evil. As his sexuality emerged, this must have played on his mind. One of his best friends growing up was Subhash Shah. One time we were in a Zanzibar bookstore, and then Freddie says to me, I'm going to steal that magazine. So I said, okay, I'll meet you outside, but I'm leaving the bookstore. And then five, ten minutes later, he comes out and he says, okay, I got it. So I asked him, so what the hell did you steal? He would not tell me. And then the next day or two, I'm at their place. And right next to the bunk bed was a kind of bare-chested Rock Hudson photograph. I looked at the... Uh, Farouk, as Farouk, what the hell happened to Sophia Loren? Farouk's father, Bomi, worked as a cashier at the British colonial office, and the family was influenced by colonial values. His parents, they were both conservative. I can see Bomi Balsara, very stoic, quiet, you know, and God knows what's going in his mind, you know, because all he could saw was a uh, a stoic face. I met them several times. They were very low-key, very private, extremely dignified people, and he was rigidly respectful of them. Like his parents, Farouk was also low-key and quiet. Very shy, extremely shy. I mean, you could see him struggling inside. He didn't put himself forward. He kind of stayed 